My name is Adam, but you might know me as DJ Ham. What you may not know about me is that I'm a recovering drug addict. Now, I've met with eight addicts who desperately need help. Some will change, others won't. But I have to keep on trying, because everyone deserves a second chance. There's one reason I'm doing this show, to help other people get sober. I'm just going to ask 15. This is Gina. She's a 20-year-old heroin addict with a $200 a day addiction. Most girls have drawer has like underwear, like love letters, and my top drawer has empty dope bags <laughs> and needle caps. Right now, her life is all about her next fix. Look at this right here. These bags right here in my life. It's sad. She's lucky to be surrounded by her family. It's worse than it's ever been before. What the do you want me to say? What do you want me to do? But their love may actually be adding to the problem. My grandmother's giving me my money for my heroin. 30. Gina's family contacted me looking for help. I'm going to meet with her mom, brother, and grandmother to go through the footage that I asked them to gather to see how bad they think Gina's problem is. And I'm going to do some digging on my own to show them how bad it really is. Together, we'll face Gina and figure out the next steps for her to start her life over. Gina has gone too far. We've got one shot to bring her back. I'm gonna go meet with Gina's mom and find out how Gina's addiction is affecting her family. Hey. Hi. How are you? How are you? I'm good, I'm Am. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Thank you so much for meeting with me and hearing Thank about Thank you so much for meeting with me. Tell me a little bit about Gina. Gina's 20 years old. She's been doing drugs since about 15 years old. She's just gone from pills to pot. And then just like things just gradually got worse. A little big from angel dust to heroin. But heroin is her drug of choice. It's That's her main, main... Drug of choice, yes. It's what about like before, before even she started using? I mean, what was she like as oh, a... She was funny. She was just adorable, fun-loving kid. Aww. <laughs> Looking at the pictures lately it just brings up so much sadness. It's like, I want to go back to those days. I want to go back there. Do you think it's possible for her to go back to being that girl that she was before I she I don't know was if she 14. remembers that girl. I miss that girl. There's some pictures of her room. I took some things to just kind of show you. What's that That's on the floor? Blood. That's blood stains on the floor. She has really wild temper. I get scared of her. She punches holes in walls. Is her bed burn holes all over her bed. She falls asleep with cigarettes constantly, constantly. Well, I do her laundry, there's nothing in the floor that doesn't have burn holes on it. Blood on her hippopotamus stuffed animal. I don't know, I'm so scared. I this, this is your 20-year-old daughter. Mm -hmm. And there's blood on her stuffed animals. I, 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 from her putting needles in her like, veins oh, I just, with it, She doesn't care. And it's just so sad because you look at her and she's such a pretty girl and she could have so much going for her and she just doesn't have any cares for anything. I remember thinking myself, you know, when I was 24 and I was, that was my last year of using and I thought it was over. My life's over. I've done. Yeah. All my friends went to college. I didn't, I didn't even finish high school. I missed the boat and it was done. So you didn't think you were going to get clean, right? No. She thinks that. But I made it out. I know a lot of people who made it out. I just hope that some of your wisdom, what you've gone through, is really going to rub off and she'll learn something. I can't wait to meet her. And uh, let's hope that we can, you know, get her some help. I'm on my way now to go meet with Gina's brother, who is a recovering heroin addict. So he's probably going to have a different take on what's been going on. Hey. How's it going? I'm Nelson. Hey, I am. It's happening. Right. Thanks, man. Tell me a little bit about your sister. She's a maniac. She's completely out of control. I try to distance myself away from her. Why is that? Is it too painful to watch, or? Just because I'm, I'm vulnerable to it, and I don't want to be around that. You have your own struggles with addiction, yeah? Yeah. I was a full-blown heroin addict, too. It's not fun for her anymore. It can't be. How long do you think she's been like that, where it's not been fun? I don't know, probably the past four years. Wow. I shot some stuff for you to see. You did? Yeah. I was going through her drawers and... 
needle caps, bags. That's nothing. That's like a day's worth. If that, an afternoon. Noodles, bags. Good. Those are all empty bags. Yeah. It's normal. I guarantee like 200 empty bags of. If you were to go in there right now, I guarantee it'd be a thousand. That's crazy. That's what she does. That's who she is. You'll see. I'm, I'm, you know, excited to meet her and scared. I really hope we can, we can help her out, man. I do too. Everybody does. I really appreciate it. Thanks, man. After meeting with Gina's mom and brother, my last stop was to meet with her grandma. Hey. Hello. How are you? Good, and yourself? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for having me. My name's Olivia, and I'm Gina's grandmother. Mm -hmm. I'm learning a lot about Gina. Yes, yeah, it's been really, really, really bad. I have some footage I'd like to show it to you. I try and buy a few bags of the heroin so that Gina will have it for a couple of days. I know it sounds dreadful that I buy this stuff for her and probably everybody says, oh, you're an enabler, but I just don't want her to be on the street or do anything that she would have to do in order to get drugs. I'm trying to keep her as safe as possible. You bought her? I bought her the drugs, but she took them all. How many did you give her? $300. And she shot all of it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you surprised she did them all? Yeah, I Did am. you think, you thought that she would ration herself the drugs yeah. wisely? Yeah, I did. This whole cycle has got to end. It does. I don't want you to have a dead granddaughter. There is hope. I promise you, there is hope. I really appreciate that because I really think I'm at the end of my rope. I really don't know how to help her anymore. Crazy, man. She's not getting high. She's not having fun. She's just getting well. She's just doing enough dope so she can't get sick, but Obviously, everyone wants, you know, every dope addict wants to get high, not just well. So she's, you know, juicing all these enablers to deliver her her heroin every day like it's pizza, you know? Her grandma is the dominoes of heroin. Crazy. I'm in Hartford, Connecticut, and I'm gonna go meet with Gina who's a heroin addict, go talk to her and try to give her some help. Heroin is the number two drug of choice here. Crack being the number one choice, my former choice of, of drug use, and it's everywhere. I'm about to enter what I would call the creepy hood. When I used to smoke crack and I was on my way to cop and you pull in, you just get that nervousness. Kind of got my eyes peeled everywhere because drugs are easy to find, let me tell you. Anytime you see someone just standing there with their hands in their pockets, looking at everyone driving by, they're looking for a customer. There's a couple dudes standing up here that don't really look like they're waiting on the bus to go to work. This is all Gina knows, you know? Well, here I am at Gina's house, about to walk in and meet her for the first time face to face. And uh, being a recovering addict, walking into her room, I'm a little freaked out by what I may find, but hopefully she's willing to open up and talk to me. Hey. Oh my God. How you doing? Hello. I'm Ham, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Wow, this is weird. Can I come in and talk to you for a minute? Yeah, cool? wow. I wasn't expecting that at all. Um, my beautiful room. You spend a lot of time in here. Yeah, I uh, spend my life in here, as you can see. What are all those holes from? From um, me nodding out my cigarettes. Are those burns on your chest, too? Yeah. From what? Cigarettes. From dropping it on your chest? Yeah. 
I've got a fire alarm right here and inside the door. And... Do you work? No. No? no. You go to school? No. Nope. I get high and chill all day. That's what I do. Where do you keep it? In my little box. <laughs> So those are all empty? Yeah, except for these ones right here. This is one shot right here. 10 or 11 bags in one, shot. in one shot. When you started doing it, how many did you shoot in one? Like two. And now you have to shoot 10? And I've already shot 10 this morning, and I'm fine. Where? Man. <laughs> My veins are gone. They're all gone. These holes and bumps and bruises. Abscesses and it's disgusting. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's not fun. You can find a vein in your thumb. Anywhere there's a vein, I'll try and use it. I look at myself and I'm like, what the hell am I doing? Why are you doing it? I don't even know why I'm doing it anymore. I'm at my bottom right now. I'm at my bottom. What makes you think you're at your bottom right now? I'm not even worth it anymore. <laughs> Are you willing to try something, you know, to stop this crazy cycle? Because I promise you firsthand, you don't have to feel like this anymore. I'm willing to do anything right now. What do you think your destiny is? I don't know what my destiny is. I don't, I don't think it's this. I don't think it is either. I swear. I hope it's not, actually. Are you willing to trust me and just try? This is what I want to do. As long as you stay willing to try that, I'm going to help you try to get there. Cool? That'd be awesome. It's time to, for a change. And walk me out. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you for everything. Thank you. So I just met with Gina myself, and she's not this monster that I expected to see unless I roll up her sleeves and look at her arms. I think that if Gina's ever going to change, she's going to have to get away from his family in that kind of environment where she's having heroin hand delivered to her in her bedroom and someone's doing her laundry, washing the cigarette burns from her nodding off while she's smoking cigarettes into her clothes. I got to help her find another way of life for her to kick.